Welcome to Fully Involved Podcast brought to you by Local 1403. And today we have Jensen Lettinger from the American Lung Association. And she's going to tell us about the upcoming year for Fight for Air Climb. Fight for Air Climb. All right, so tell us what's going on this year. Awesome. Yes. So um, first, I definitely just want to start with a big thank you. Um, We have had this partnership with uh, Local 1403 and uh, the presenting sponsorship from you all uh, for such a significant amount of time. And this is actually going into 2024. This is our 20th year of the climb. Um, And it will be the 20th year that Local 1403 is involved as well. Boom. Um, Yeah. So absolutely incredible. Um, And I just want to throw out throw out a little a few stats and a little information on on what happened in 2023. So, um, in 2023 as a whole, the fight for air climb in Miami raised two hundred and fifteen thousand um, dollars. Absolutely amazing, a record setting year for us. So we are beyond ecstatic about that, and and just happy for this this relationship to continue. Um, and we definitely want to talk about the impact that local fourteen oh three had themselves. Tell us. <laughs> um, so first of all, the incredible thing is that Local 1403 actually presents the entire Fight for Air Climb. Um, so with that presenting sponsorship, as well as covering some of the participant registrations so that everyone can sign up, no problem, no questions asked, there you go. Um, and then as well as the team fundraising, which was a Absolutely incredible again this year. Um, the total support from Local 1403 totaled $34,705. $34, wow. Um, and just to throw out a couple of stats, just not to drive anyone crazy, but uh, <laughs> but that money educates 3,850 people at high risk for lung cancer about the importance of lung cancer screening. Um, it's supporting two months of research, uh, for people with chronic lung diseases and I I won't bore you too much more, but it really is just absolutely incredible. The impact that y'all are making. So, um, we just cannot thank you enough. And while I'm thinking people, I have to give a shout out to our, not only the number one fundraiser for the entire fight for air climb Miami, but the number one fundraising firefighter for the entire country. Jeanette Harrington, our girl. Um, She is absolutely incredible. She fundraised over $10,000 individually. By herself. By herself. Absolutely. She, I mean, she's amazing. Yeah. She, she's a force to be reckoned with for sure. Um, But she brings it all to the fight for air climb and we just couldn't be more appreciative of that. And she climbs uh, in honor or in memory of somebody every single year. So she's constantly honoring people, constantly tying it back to the mission, remembering why we're here and making a huge difference. So um, definitely big kudos to her and to the whole team. We're just so happy to be a part of it and be a part of it with you all. Um, And then going into 2024, the good stuff. (laughs) Um, So our event this year is going to be on March 2nd. We March are 2nd, going, mark your calendars. Yep, March 2nd, 2024. That is a Saturday morning. Um, we will be back at Lone Depot Park, which is home of the Miami Marlins. So back at the Marlins Stadium, and we're so excited for that. We love being out there. And one of the coolest parts of being out there uh, at, at the Marlins Park and having that, that big open area like that is that we have such an incredible area for the Firefighter Challenge, which is you know, only going to continue to grow. I know it's it's still relatively new. We've only had it around for a couple of years now, but um, it's only going to grow from here, of course. Awesome. Yeah. So we're so, so excited to see that, you know, grow and evolve. And um, big fan of the challenge. Yes. I've done we it all are. Once or twice. Yeah. It's uh, Well, it's tough. I do have to say I am not successful at doing it, but. <laughs> we're going to make you successful. <laughs> all right. Challenge we can, accepted. We can, we can make that happen. <laughs> I'm holding you to that then. See you March 2nd. Do it. it. We'll make it happen. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Well, I hope so. Um, But yeah, we want to get everybody out there, want to get everybody involved. We're really going to, you know, step it up this year and we want to make it just more of a a staple of the event. So um, we, you know, people come out to climb. And do the firefighter challenge. So people so are going to do both. They have we the option want to do both. Everybody doing both. Yeah, we want to make it a competition where um, you know firefighters are competing. Of course. What surprise? What surprise? Uh-huh. Gotta be something. So yes, this year we're stepping it up a little bit. Um, there will be a trophy. Boom. <laughs> is it a traveling trophy or? It will is be a traveling trophy. No, 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 traveling trophy. Come on, you got to earn it every year. <laughs> you you want that in? Yeah. No, you want that that coming home with you. You got to 
bring it home every single year. Um, awesome. Yeah, and we would we want to have um, one challenge for firefighters and then another challenge for civilians. You yeah. know, people like me, not so good at it, but I'm out there, a for effort. Um, <laughs> And uh, so we're really, really excited to grow that, of course. And then um, something interesting, I will give a shout out to Gil Velasquez, who is, you know. Who is that guy? Who is that? Yeah. I don't know. Um, insert picture of Gil here. Um, <laughs> uh, we definitely, we were just talking about getting everybody registered, getting everybody signed up. And what we're hoping to do this year is a challenge between the battalions. Oh, so getting, yeah, I to like get that. all the different battalions signed up as, you know, individual teams, a little, little competition out there, a little friendly competition, maybe Let's a little, it. maybe another trophy there too. Boom. Something to talk about. Um, but yeah, just really keeping that competition friendly, getting everybody involved. Everybody comes out fundraises a little little friendly competition too. see who nothing see who like the a top little competition ones nothing yeah, like exactly. a little competition exactly <laughs> there you go um so yeah we were just really really excited going to going into the year and we can't wait to have y'all involved and then uh again something i definitely want to mention just because i know we got some important people watching here um if you are signing up with the mdfr team if you are signing up with local 1403 please make sure that you use the code Local 1403, it's all caps, L-O-C-A-L-1403, and that will cover your, it will, will waive the registration fee so that you can just go ahead and get started and start fundraising Do right off now. the bat. now, don't wait until the last minute. Exactly, climbmiami.org and go ahead and get registered. Um, yeah. We're firefighters, we're going to wait till the last minute, but sign up early. Not this year. Let's sign up early. Not this year, we're not. We're not. We're gonna we're gonna break that stigma here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, and that we got the competition. So if you want your battalion on top, start early. Boom. And <laughs> anybody's welcome to come out and train. We have the the course set up here at the training center. If you want to come by, get some tips. We'll definitely make that happen. We train on Tuesdays and also Saturdays. So come on out. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And bring your friends and family too. All right. <laughs> I think that's all I got. Unless you have any questions for me. No, ma'am. I think you pretty much answered all the questions. You, you, you made a competition, which I like. Signing up. We want to make sure everybody signs up early. Yeah. And um, we're really looking forward to it. And once again, what's the date again so people can mark March their calendars? March 2nd, March 2nd, uh, 2024. March 2nd, 2024. Saturday. Yes. Saturday. On what time? calendars now. It will start um, in the morning. First wave will start before 8 o'clock. Okay. We like to be in the first wave. Just get over and done with. And And... And lots how, of time How for can they, what are, what's the attire? Obviously, bunk gear, short so, T-shirt. Well, gear is optional. So okay. when you go ahead and when you register, you will see that um, when you register as a firefighter, there is an automatic drop down that comes in and says, how will you be climbing? You go ahead and select. Will I be climbing with gear? Will I be climbing with no gear? Some equipment, you know, however you want to do it. It's really up to everybody, however everyone feels comfortable. Um, it's, it's each individual's choice. If you're going for, sure. for the trophy, you you, you got to be in gear. No shorts and t-shirt for the trophy. I'm no setting pressure, the, I'm setting but... The, we're setting the standard right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that. Uh, but, yeah, everyone, you know, however you're comfortable, of course. So All we're right, just well, happy to have you. Thank you for coming by and, and um, giving us the information. And maybe we'll do another one right before the race just to give everybody a quick reminder. Yes. And let us know where we are registration-wise. And, um... Thank you I for, love that. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate thank you, you for coming by. Me. Thank you so much. All Happy right. to be here. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.